Hey guys, Elroy here, and uh, today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on uh, how to make a platformer game. And now this is... it's different for everybody, you don't have to make a game this way. This is just my method of how I usually go about creating a game. Um, and this is mainly... my games are mainly like sort of linear adventure action type games. And so, yeah, that's what this is going to end up being. But anyways, um, first thing you're going to want to do, before you even, if you're planning on making it like a big game, like if you're shooting for a feature at least, or even Epic Game Library, then one thing you're definitely going to need is a storyline, and that's probably the most important thing. Um, you can't really start making your game until you have a storyline down. And so I've sort of come unprepared in that aspect, because this is just, I don't know, I'll probably just whip up something together on the spot, but you you want to spend some time beforehand coming up with a storyline. Anyways, once, uh, once you come up with a good storyline, uh, you're going to want to, for your first level, I'd suggest, um, for your first one or two levels, Usually what I do is, um, I usually make it so that the first two levels, sometimes just the first level, even are more storyline based and there isn't much action, but, um, yeah. So I would sort of building up the story sort of like a calm beginning and then sort of either sort of slowly ease in to act like action and fighting and stuff with the conflict in the story or whatever um th that's just how I go about doing it with my rave quest series but anyways uh, enough talking let's get started I'll just um throw together a quick town for you guys um you know what, you know what I think I might just show off a quick um like a story level, what I mean by that. I'll just pull up a uh, Rave Quest 3 here. Um, where is the original Rave Quest? Um, there you are. All right. So, I'll. S this is this is what I mean by um, storyline levels. What you'll see here with these first two levels in uh, Rave Quest 3, and. So the first level is just building up the storyline, um, Calm Town, uh, meeting an important character, the Owl, uh, and I'll just skip through the rest of this, it's sort of, just Calm Beginning, uh, just in a town, I'm being very repetitive, I know, but, uh, yeah, not much else to say, uh, sort of recapping here, uh, stuff that happened in the previous game, you're probably gonna want to do that when you're making a sequel, just because no matter what, there are always gonna be people who play your game who haven't played the original. That's just always a given. Um, but yeah, then this second level here is just another, uh, storyline level introducing the uh, conflict and um, just a lot of dialogue and talking and then right right here to the third level I'll stop it there is where um it the action sort of starts and the conflict arises but um, I'm going to throw together a real quick like action level just random level I'm not sure if I'll put much story into it but this, once again, as I said before, this is this is simply how I make my games. You do not have to make your games like like how I do. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is select a tile that will fit your level. And, hmm, I think I'd like to go with... Ooh, what would be a good one? Maybe this green tile, I think that would look nice. Yeah, that, that looks good. And sort of make a layout, how I'll put like a, maybe I might make this like a jungle or a town or something, and if my earbuds cannot come unplugged, that would be brilliant. Um, 
I think I'll just, since probably, here, hold on just a second, I need to be right back. Alright, sorry about that, uh, from here I'm just going to sort of uh, speed this up to make it short so you don't have to sort of go through and I'll probably add like some notes saying this is what I'm doing here and how you should do it or if I mess up or something. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a few minutes. And we're done. So that was not really like a full game right there. That was just a sort of demo. Definitely not long enough. You definitely want to make your levels longer. And this is just one level in a game. Like I just whipped up a random storyline, like a generic storyline to go with it. Um, yeah, like I said, definitely very small. Just threw together the main pieces like a boss battle, uh, battle sequences, uh, and you're gonna want to make these unique like the trees and stuff I just whipped it together really fast uh, for this for demonstration purposes but definitely I would try to make them unique this level was sort of based on a level from a rave quest game but uh anyways here's the entire level pretty small but you know it's, like I said just for demonstration purposes definitely gonna want to make your levels longer but, uh, anyways, this has been my tutorial on how to make a, uh, platformer game. This has been Elroy's Ice. You can check me out on my, uh, main channel, uh, on YouTube called MrBrightsideX11. I'll see if I can get a link for that in the description. And, um, check me out on Splutter. My name's Elroy's Ice. And I'll see you guys later, hopefully. See you guys next time, I guess. Out. This is a really awkward ending. Okay. See you guys next time. No. Because I might not be here again. I don't know how to end this, so just goodbye.